Hey there, Soul Shines, it's Michelle here, and I'm recording on my phone because my computer's in use. It is Thursday. Things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, yeah. Things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday yeah. Um, hopefully I have the ability to edit this as needed and put the things we're making Thursday bit in. Um, it's shawl month. It's September. Can you believe we're already in September? I'm like blown away. Like seriously, where'd the, where'd the time go? Anyway, before we get going on to shawls, because that's what September is, remember to hook that subs. I can talk, guys. I really can. Hook that subscribe button, like the video, and leave some yarn in the comments. Um, so this right here is considered a shawl. It is a round shawl. It's called the Vortex Shawl. And um, I will show you, I'm working, this link will be in the description below. Some people can make this blanket and it's a round blanket and then if you were to fold it in half, you'd have a shawl. Um, that's what's really cool before I continue. Um, I personally have made a shawl that I love that I will probably show next week when I have a little more time. It's a triangle shawl. Um, I have made the ones that are bigger on one end and get smaller. I don't like them, but you may. Um, I'm currently, this one here that I'm making that I will show you. I don't have the yarn with me right now. So I can't show you the yarn. Oh, it's way over there. Um, but this right here, it's going to be a wrap this way. So you would wrap it around you, um, kind of like a wide scarf. That counts as a shawl. It's technically a wrap. Um, I, of course, will link the pattern to this below. Um, this is my main shawl project for the month. There are half circles, there are a little bit more than half circles, so it kinda has, um, like you have a circle and then it has kind of like a V cut out so it stays on your shoulders better. There are triangles and then similar to the triangles, some of them have like an extra section so it's like four panels or five panels and uh, like there's just so many shapes. You can do rectangles, you can do crescents, you can do, they can be knit, they can be crochet. Like there's so many options for shawls and I would include wraps in that. So um, I was talking to somebody this week and they're like, oh, I've never made a shawl, I don't think I could. Seriously, there are some that are basically half of a granny square. That's what they do. They're so easy. Some shawls, yes, some shawls are complicated. This one here, had a new stitch to me. These X's were really interesting to figure out how to make. Um, it kind of, it's a mixed stitch, like the whole X is one stitch and it's kind of, you kind of do a triple, start the stitch and then go over a couple and pick up and then go off and do some chains and then come back in the middle. It, seemed complicated at first because it was new to me. I read through the pattern, followed the instructions just as they were written one by one until I figured out what they were doing and I was like, oh, okay. And then after that, I'm just like, I don't need a pattern for this because it's just one row of those X's and then one row of double crochets. And that's kind of nice because I could just go through and do it. Um, so there's a lot of different kind of shawls and there's a lot of different kind of wraps. Um, I suggest if you've never made one before, try it. Also, just know that your shape, you may like one shape over another shape. Maybe you like the half circle. Maybe you like a triangle. Maybe you like those ones that are big and then go small. Um, there's a name for that, but I don't know what it's called. Uh, maybe you just want a big rectangle to wrap around you. You know, whatever you want to do, try it this month. I'm really excited to see what you guys make and I hope that this video finds you well. 
Um, before I go, I wanted to invite you every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard or Daylight, I don't know which one there, Mountain Time, Denver Time. Um, we are having an online yarn party. It's basically like a crochet knit group where we just come and chat, and work on our stuff, get to know each other, you get to have in-person things with me. This one is a free option if you join my membership membership subscription. I will be working with whoever are the members to create a time that is right for them. Um, that also works with my schedule. My schedule is kind of crazy with taking kids and picking them up from work and stuff. So that could be fun. But, you know, I, I we work it out. So anyway, every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Mountain Time, which is 12 noon Eastern Time, um, you can come crochet with me, knit with me, just chat with me, <clears throat> excuse me, whatever you want to do. Um, there's, a, I have invitations going out to three people. Um, so far, uh, it's been hit and miss because people are like, either they forget or they have other things going on, like doctor appointments or other random things. And so I'm really excited when there's two people that I'm like, I want you guys to meet. So I'm really excited for when that day comes, but that means I have a lot of open spaces. So if you want to come and crochet with us, please do. Um, I'm going to try and announce, but announce it on all of my videos for a while. Not to be annoying. I'm sorry if that's annoying. It's just I really want to make sure that the people, like if you only watch it, things we're making Thursday, you find out about it. Um, it's a way for me to have a crochet group or a knit group without having the challenges that come with being exposed to wool and so that's what we're doing an online one plus it allows me to meet my subscribers across wherever both of my current um subscribers i think charlotte's subscribed she's my friend she better be um <laughs> both of my subscribers that come are on the east coast and that's really cool because well not east coast but eastern time zone one of them's close to the coast the other one's not quite as far but um it's really exciting because the chances of meeting in person are a lot slimmer whereas um somebody in denver who knows maybe i'll drive to denver they'll come to utah something like that uh there are areas that are more likely that either I will go to or they'll come here than Eastern time zone. So it's exciting. It's really exciting. Um, anyway, yeah, if you want to come to that, just send me an email. I will put you on my list that I send out. I don't share the email addresses of anybody. I do it in a blind carbon copy BCC. Um, Eventually, I want to get a um, actual email list going and newsletter kind of thing. We'll see because that takes a lot of time and effort. And right now, my time and effort is... I, it makes me tired to think about. That's okay. We're working it out. Things are straightening out, figuring things out. So... I encourage you to um, try a shawl or a wrap this month if you've never made one. Um, if you have made one, you can share past makes and share with me what you've made. I will gladly put them in next week's video. Uh-oh. Well, that was silly of me. Somehow I, even though I have a stitch marker, somehow I have just undid this last stitch. Anyway, um, yeah, it's just a double. Not a big deal. Just really quickly fix it and I don't know what's going on with the, this. Where the am I? Hook it, doubly hooked it, and that should not have any way, shape, or form to come out. Okay. <laughs> anyway, guys, remember to let your light shine through your creations, whatever they be. Uh, shawls, wraps, something totally not related and you don't want to share it on things we're making Thursday, that's okay. If you have a channel, be sure to include the hashtag T 
WMT. Thanks for making Thursday. If you do not have a channel but would like to share your images, please send me an email with your images and just say, hey, I've got them. I absolutely love sharing them. It is really fun to see what people make and to share what people make. Anyway, with that, remember to let your light shine through your creations. Going to say that many times is because it's important to me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.